when my first guest launched her career, she got people talking about her unique musical style, that raspy, sultry voice. I, of course, am talking about Macy Gray. You know, it's so interesting. I tell people we all have a story. Let's talk about it. Well, Macy says she was actually bullied for that voice we all fall, fell in love with. I, I, I think I can remember the first time I heard that song, I Try. Ooh, I, I was singing it all day. My team was like, please stop, because she's in the building. Her iconic music, critically acclaimed, multi-award winning, multi-platinum artist that is Macy Gray. Her musical magnetism skyrocketed her into a huge career across entertainment that includes acting. Remember her in Training Day? Amazing. <laughs> Spider-Man, the list goes on and on. And so today, Macy is hitting the reset button, you might say. She's got a world tour kicking off her 11th studio album, Macy just flew last night from London to be here with the Tan Fan. Please welcome the Grammy Award winning timeless singular voice, Macy Gray! long flight from London, Joy, that you I brought know. in this room. Oh. You, uh, we couldn't hear, but you walked out to your new single every night. Yes. It's off your upcoming album, The Reset. Yes. Feels good to be resetting? Yeah, it's important. I think, uh, I think the upside of, you know, what happened in 2020 was that we all had a chance to rethink things, you know, yeah. and, and figure out a way to do things better and, yeah. you know, think about other things besides you know, work and, and stuff like that. We had to like think about our, ourselves, you know? You had to think about yourself. Yeah. I mean, I love the title. I love the inspiration and the intention. And to your point, just giving us a chance to reset. You've been gone a long time, I think, yeah. in most people's eyes. How did it feel to you, that time away? Um, wasn't really, I work constantly. People, yeah. people think I'm, you know, at home sleeping, you know? No, we see you on Watching Instagram. Netflix. You're not sleeping. <laughs> I know, but uh, no, I just got off tour and yeah. uh, I tour about twice a year. Well, touring just came back this year. Yeah, so. yeah that's what I mean. Touring just came yeah. back. And we know we all were not able to, to go and see concerts and shows in person, yeah. but you, you didn't take a step back and I don't want to phrase it that mm -hmm. way, but it seemed like you were doing a lot of processing of things and the music. That's why I, th I love that title, The Reset. It had to mean something. Yeah, I think um, it was it was a great time to to be an artist because because everybody was emoting, you know, everybody had feelings and everybody had opinions, and and so um, if you if you were any kind of artist, you know, a, a host or yeah. a musician or actor, it gave you all kinds of inspiration and and uh, ideas, you yeah. know. I I wondered if the reset was also just hey, everybody, reset and focus on my music, and you know where I'm going with this. Yeah, exactly. So, July, Piers yeah. Morgan Uncensored. Yeah. Uh, conversation on trans athletes competing in women's sports. You said, I will say this, and everybody's gonna hate me, but as a woman, just because you go change your parts doesn't make you a woman. Sorry. Mm -hmm. If you... <laughs> yeah, some people agree with you. Yeah. If you want yeah. me to call you or her, I will, because that's what you want but that doesn't make you a woman just because I call you a her and just because you got surgery. Now you went on to say, after people criticized, you said, I got nothing but love for LGBTQ plus and transgender communities. I've been a supporter since day one and never a fake one. My statement on Piers Morgan was grossly misunderstood. Mm -hmm. I respect everyone's right to whoever they want to be. Right. That was the statement that you put out um, and then there was still backlash. Right. 
And a few days later, you said, all of you coming on my page, threatening me and calling me names just because I said something you don't agree with. Be whatever you want to be and bleep off. <laughs> and then I didn't even remember yeah. that. <laughs> she gave uh, me high five. It's been four months. And yeah. I tried to take myself through it because, listen, I, I don't try to change anyone's mind. I don't agree, but I'm not going to try to change your mind. I'm not right. going to beat you down because of it, because that's not what we do. Right. So you say it, you come back, and you say, I've been an ally, don't believe that I'm not. And then people keep pounding me. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the anger, because I understand that, too. You're like, I right. said that's not what I meant. Right. And now you're still coming at me. Yeah. So there is this back and forth. Right. Where are you now with this? Well, honestly, what I meant by being misunderstood is what I was talking about was womanhood. Like, my mother always said, you know, you're not a woman yet. So it's just like when a, a boy becomes a man. So I was talking about maturing into a woman. Like, I have two daughters, and I don't, I don't consider them women, because, yeah. you know, they're like two 20-year-old dummies, you know. <laughs> like, you're not on my level yet, right, you know. Right. So originally, that's what I was talking about. And, yeah. um, but, of course, it got turned into... Me being a transphobe, which I couldn't be further from. I honestly, uh, I'm, I'm, what I did learn was was pure acceptance. I thought I was accepting before, mm. but I'm, 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 I've, it was good for me because I've, I've grown into just really, like, truly seeing someone and, and accepting them for who they are and who they want to be and, and their opinions, and, and that's, that's what makes... The world, what it is, is that everybody is different. So if you get into putting people down or canceling people or cutting people off because they don't agree with you, then um, then you don't you don't have you no longer live in the world that you want to yeah. live in. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Know, I understand that. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because um, tonight Elton John is kicking off his final leg of that North American his farewell tour, which you're not going anywhere anytime soon. He's going to Dodger Stadium. I know that he gave you some advice that someone we share, we share Prince. Yeah. And they both gave you similar advice. And they said, just remember, it's not about you. Right. And sometimes I think when we do get on these shows and people ask us questions, yeah. and you get trapped up and mm -hmm. you make it about you. Yeah. The music is who you are. Right. And that's what you want people to understand. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, I was just starting out. So no, when understand. Prince told me that, I was like, what you talking about? Like, <laughs> what you mean, not about me? So, <laughs> but, um, but I think in the last uh, couple of years, I, I, cause that statement always stuck with me for some reason, but, yeah. um, he was just talking about, and, and even normal life, it's, it's about what, what you have to offer, how you make people feel. Yeah. You know, um, they, people say they love you, but they love what you do, or they love what you, the way you speak to them, or they love uh, how you look, you know? Yeah. People say, I love that, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's a word that we throw around, but, um, but I think uh, now that I'm in my 50s and I, and I know that it's not about me and it's about what... I have to offer and, and what I can do in this world, you know, um, it, it makes me more, you know, productive. Right. I, now I want to do more, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I love that. It I love off that. Of, and it takes a lot of pressure off of yourself, you know, because yeah. you, you, you know, just want to do better. I love of, that. And that's the yeah. best we can do, right? Every day yeah. we're evolving and we're just trying to do better, and that's the goal. Yeah.